Hey, Ryan Sampson here, and today I'm going to talk to you about how you can identify the best possible cities to target for local service ads. You might be surprised with what I share with you, but this is part of the three R's. So there's reviews, radius, and response time. Okay, so this has to do with the radius. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go show you exactly what I presented here for one of our clients. And I wanted to show you what we did. So what we did is we just created a simple spreadsheet and we looked at in the first column, you'll see the city. In the second column, you'll see the population. And then the third column is the number of competitors you have in that particular city. And what I mean by that is the number of competitors in your specific or for your specific job type. Now, this is a strategy that you would want to implement if you are looking for an additional location to go to. Okay. If you're looking to open up a new location, this is what you'd want to do. So I'm going to show you, this is what we did for the previous one was for South, Southern California. Same thing we did for Florida and this is for PI, but you'll notice that some of these, like the one in Hialeah there, you'll see that the population is 223,000, almost quarter million people. And there's no PI attorneys that are specifically in the vertical of PI that have set up Google local service ads in Hialeah. Same thing with Miramar, zero, 134,000 people. So it only makes sense to target the cities that have the largest population, there's more people, so they have more of a chance to get more leads, and that have the lowest number of competitors that are in that particular job type. I hope that makes sense. Now, there's also another opportunity here where we can look at the cities. You might actually have a bunch of cities that you currently have set up with Google Business Profile pages, but you don't have LSA set up. Optimize that radius component, okay? Definitely, definitely, definitely want to optimize that radius component, okay? So I'm going to show you an example here. So let's type in... Okay, so I'm gonna go personal injury attorney, Miami. So what do I mean by firms or businesses that are actually in that city? So this is a city, obviously it's very large and there's probably a ton of competitors, but I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go in and look for more. And you know that these guys are in that city. When you can see down here and you click, you can see, look, it, it says this is their city. This is, this is one of the cities it says that they service or that they're actually located in. You, can see, you know that they're actually located in Miami. So you really only want to count the ones as being competitors in that city that actually have an LSA page where they're listed in that city. And you know that they're listed in that city or that they have a location in that city physically in that city because it says right here. Miami. Okay. And here you go. Here's their address. It's in Miami. So again, you want to look for the cities that have the largest population and that have the fewest competitors located in that city with their address. When you look them up on LSA, their address being that actual city that you're looking to target. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. This is how you identify new locations that you want to target. And this is just a reminder for you, if you've got a Google business profile page set up, set up that LSA page. It's really simple to do, and it just gives you more fishing poles in the water, okay? So if you like what I've said here and what I've talked about, then definitely go ahead and subscribe. You'll notice there's gonna be more videos that actually show at the end of this video. Go ahead and watch those. Give us a thumbs up and let us know what questions you have by putting comments in as well, all right? Thanks, talk to you soon, bye-bye.